mechanisms. In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of a review mechanism or a feedback loop existing within the legal tech tool. Generative AI is not going to get everything right all the time. It will make mistakes. What you need to ask your legal tech provider is whether there is a way to highlight the errors it makes and point it towards the correct answer, assuming that the correct answer exists in the database and that it has access to that. Here are a few questions you need to be asking your legal tech AI provider. One, does a legal tech tool allow you, the user, to provide feedback? Two, what kind of feedback does it allow you to input? Is it a simple thumbs up or thumbs down feature? Or can you tell it you provided the wrong answer? Here is the correct one. Three, does the model apply the learning from the feedback only to you and your organization? Or does it also improve the tool as a whole, thus benefiting other organizations that use the legal tech tool? Four, do you get an audit trail of the feedback loops provided to the tool? Sometimes you could have an attorney make a mistake and provide inaccurate feedback. If you have an audit trail, you can trace the feedback input to the tool and possibly rectify it. It's relevant to note that most tools will not have the same feedback mechanism, and that's okay. You just need to understand whether the feedback mechanism is an efficient enough process for you to fix errors as you come by them. There may even be tools without any feedback mechanism, or at least not that they have presently built out, and its absence may not signify that the tool is bad or unhelpful. Sometimes legal tech vendors will use a manual feedback mechanism where you have to inform them about the mistake so that they can correct it at the product level. Feedback is one way to refine the tool to higher levels of accuracy. So remember to ask the question. Thanks for watching.